my fellow subjects, it is Lady Rock Cleaner here, and welcome to a new series called Gymnastics with Jazzy. So I do have like three gymnastic videos, two on this channel, one on my other one, and yeah, so yeah, and they won't be in this series because I don't want to re-upload them because I already have so many views. Thank you. I have 500 views on the original Gymnastics Challenge. And then on number two, I have 322 views. Thank you so much, guys. So, this video is going to be... <sighs> I keep forgetting. I thought. This video is going to be lots of ways to get into a bridge. Okay, so number one is the original way. I'm going to take this off so that I don't hurt my head with pipe cleaners. They are very deadly. They can stick into your head. Because they're actually just wire. Okay, right. So my first way is the original way that most people do it. I'll just show the head part because that's all you need. Bend your hands back. Make sure that your hair is in the way. Put your hands like that. And then push up. So that's obviously the original way. The way that most people do it. And yeah. So, again, I'm not going to have my head band on. This is... I'm probably not going to have it on for the rest of the video. This one's pretty much the same as doing as doing that, except it's slightly easier. Turn your hands so that they're not exactly like... Instead of having to bend all the way like that, just go like that. Just, like, put them down, like, sideways so that it's not all the way. Then you just push up like that and spin your hands around. So it's easier if you, if you can spin your hands around. So it's like sort of easy huh. number three i think is the easiest way as long as you can trust yourself so, yeah. in the ground all you have to do is you just have to sit as normal and you have to put one hand back again you don't have to have it all the way around like in bridges you can just have it sideways or just however because then you can spin it around when you're in a bridge or like when you go up you it goes like that and then you just go onto your feet and you have to trust yourself here you have to trust your arm can hold you while you turn and see and my hand turns so you, you can do it slow like that like I did to start with or you can do it really fast like this I've gotten so used to it I don't even need to look and I can do it one-handed huh. which takes me on to the next one okay so this is another one where you have to be able to trust the ground and trust yourself so get into a bridge my easiest way when someone tells me to get into a bridge it's just like that you can do it however you like this one is easy as long as you can trust it again you just have to rock to get it and then you just take one hand off and put it on your foot this is pretty easy it's just your hand can get tired after a while okay so with this one this one isn't getting into a bridge like the last one so just you know get into a bridge it's not different ways to get into a bridge and you need to bridge walk so most people maybe just start small like this, but once you get used to it, you can walk faster and take bigger steps like this. And I'm sort of learning to walk backwards and it's hard to turn because you think that your legs go the other way. And then if you want, you can kick over, which brings me on to the next subject. I said before this one's kicking over okay right so I, I'm so close to being able to kick over from the ground I'm like so close if I have something that high from the ground I can do it I can do it on a car tire but not like <laughs> otherwise it's too hard I'll show you on a bed this one on a few different things starting with the bed so again just get into a bridge off and then put your legs up on the bed and then my room's really small, so I'm probably going to kick the wall. But then you just kick over. Okay, now I'm going to show you on a wall. And I'm pretty sure all of you have walls at home. Quick, come look at Zippy. Oh, Zippy's just there, if you can see her. Oops. There she is. Sorry that my room's a mess, but let's show this one. So the best way to get onto the wall, let me just move everything, is to... Sorry, I have heaps of stuff in the way. Is just kick up onto the wall. Oh, no, need to go further. Like that, see? And then you can just kick over like that. 
or you can oops, slowly lower yourself down like that. Sometimes you can go much further because the good thing with walls is that you can do as far as away if, as you like, like, oops, hold up. Oh, why can't I do this right now? Kick, oh, I'm having a bad day. Kick over and then you walk out and then you can kick over smaller places. See, you can see my foot there somewhere. Yeah, there. Then you just kick over. Mm, let's find something smaller. The most stable thing I could find was my bag. So I'm going to put my camera here, as usual, and here's my bag here. And hopefully, this is tall enough. It might not be, and it might be too spongy, but I'll try. So I just have to go like this, and then feet on the bag. No, it's just gonna roll away. Wait, ow! Got something sharp in it. I'll find something better that doesn't quite fall something. down. So I put two pillows and then I got the blanket. It's a bit high, but it, see, it just sinks. Okay, I'll try and do it so that it doesn't fall over. Oops, I'll just try and down here. Okay, right, so I'm into a bridge. It's always one good thing. Then up onto the pillow mountain and, oh, it's slipping. I need to go closer, closer, and then up. It's too hard. Gotta find something hard. Maybe I'll try books. I only found a box, but I covered it in a blanket for grip. Okay, let's see if this works, hopefully. Okay. Okay, bridge as normal. Stand on it. Oh, yes, it's. Oh, it is slipping away, but only a little bit. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. I haven't done this in ages. I gotta go super close. Super close makes it super easy. Okay. Oh. Ow. Let me try that again. There's always the dangers of gymnastics. Okay. Like 20 second time lucky or something. Let's try. Oh. Right back, right back. Right up. Right up. Oh no. Oh. I'm gonna practice a bit, see if I can get it right. Oh, oh. Sorry guys, I sort of gave up with this one. It's really hard. Okay, back into bridges. Okay, number seven is a back bend, which isn't too hard. You just need to, well, if you practice a lot, it isn't too hard. So I think the best way to do it is spread your legs out and you start by bending back onto a bed or you know, like a couch or something. Wilder legs brings you lower to the ground, so it helps you, it just makes it much easier. So I can bend back into the bed, like that. Okay, just like that. And once you keep going lower and lower, that's the best way to do it, you can do it onto the ground like this. See, once you get good at it, makes it very very easy and you can even go slow like I did or faster I would say number eight is the hardest I literally only got to do it yesterday this is kicking over into a bridge so like I did kicking out of a bridge into here you start doing that and then you can kick over and stuff you go low and low like you do with the back bend until you can do it on the ground, like so. Whoa! <laughs> See, I still fall, but I can still do it. Okay, so I'll try again. The best way to do it is go into a handstand and then slowly lower yourself down. Yay, I did it! And into that one-handed pose thing. And... Sometimes when you put a lot of things together, it makes it nice. Like, if only I could stand it from a bridge, which I cannot, then I can, well, like, when I do a back bend, see? When I do a back bend, I can get it from here. But when you can stand it from the bottom, it's amazing, because you can kick over into a bridge like I did, then stand up, which is a walkover. If you do it fast, it's a handspring. And when I bent back, if you can kick over, 
then it's a backwards walkover. Speaking of that, I can do that Let's with a try it. Well, first, you stand up and you go back into a bridge, not too close to the wall. Like this, and then you walk your legs up the wall or the door as I'm using until you kick over. And then you do that over and over again. So, like this, back, legs up. And, oh, why am I scared all over again? I used to not be scared at all, but now I'm like, scared. Forward, back, and kick over. Forward, back, and oh, kick over. I'm going to do it twice more and then I'm done. All right, ready? This time with no instructions. And for the last time, I'm going to try and go really fast with the kick over. Yes! I did it one leg! Whew. So that's hard. That's probably the hardest that there is. Except, comment down below if you've seen harder, because there probably is out there somewhere. Brrr. Anyway, hope you like the video. Hold up. This is my lady pipe cleaner video without this hope you like this video if you did smash that like button and i will see you next time goodbye